Hello, everybody. Thank you uh, for being here. Very excited to um, talk about some of the cool stuff we can do with AI art. Um, so I'm going to talk to you really briefly about how I'm using Dolly 2 for like futuristic ways of working. And you know, there's quite a lot we can do today. So I'll start off with this. Um, basically, every stage of the 3D creative pipeline can be done, you know, the steps for it can be done using Dolly as a tool. Um, for context, uh, before I've been doing like this independent stuff, I used to work at DreamWorks. So I worked on a lot of these movies as a teacher, teaching our software. And what you're seeing over here are all the different types of departments we would have. Storyboarding, character and environment artists, things like modeling, expression sheets, surfacing, rough layout. All these different creative departments are usually involved in making an animation studio. And what I'm like thrilled with and also nervous with is a lot of these departments can now be kind of done with, with can be additive, assisted with some AI workflows. So I'll give you some more like um, specific use cases. So one of the first ones here is just like making and informing physical art. You know, I got a little worried at first with some of the digital creations. And I was thinking, okay, what am I going to do if I'm all into art? Well, making physical art is still kind of hard to do for robots. So what I've been doing is making images in Dolly 2, projecting them onto a physical canvas, and then I go and try to paint over that canvas with my own hands using like acrylic paints on you know, materials. Over here is a shoe I designed, or maybe I'll say collaborated with Dali. And what we did was I kind of gave it some prompts, some styles that I was like looking forward to, and then was able to project it and then trace and work with it. I struggle with composition, so it's really helpful to have something that can help like make the, con like the, the framing of it. Here's another example. Um, I build a lot of metaverse things across different you know, spaces, and I've been using Dolly 2 lately to do metaverse design blueprints. The metaverse is kind of new, right? It's not really built yet. There's not really established norms. So it's really helpful to imagine designs like this with the assistance of AI that can help you know, get you to that point. So you know, like this one here was thinking of, uh, I was thinking of like a magical treehouse that's on an island. And before going into 3D programs and trying to you know, build all that, it's so fast to make this in like 15 minutes and then have a concept that I can show a team. Uh, made this amphitheater space that was later made inside of a program called Horizon Worlds. Sent this to a developer who could understand, like, oh, you want to build that. And we just saved so much time and effort in trying to make something new. Uh, AR outfits are a thing now. So augmented reality, that's AR. Um, I've been using it for fashion. So the upper left-hand corner there is, is showing you like how to design some of these you know, concepts inside of DALI. And then I go into 3D programs and try to model it. That unicorn, that really like punk rock unicorn thing, is actually projected as a patch on the back of that jacket. And I didn't draw that. I kind of just described with words. And then DALI helped me get to that point. Um, I've been using it for storyboarding. Um, you know, these Again, these are all so many different layers. but that prompt here for that, um, that orange one is an anime mech robot sits uh, under a, you know, a bed of soft light and discovers the meaning of life, digital art. And Dolly helped get a frame of reference that I could totally use to you know, explain a story and build a whole narrative. And you, know, you can do anime with it. You can do rough layout. I mean, it's just it's so helpful. Um, another one is character and environment and concept art. So I was imagining like a wizard dragon. And I can see that kind of clearly in my head. But maybe I need to convey that to other people. Dolly helps me do that you know, very, very quickly, very iteratively. And I needed to create a cave design for you know, where, do these, where do these wizard dragons live? Probably in a cave. And being able to make that so quickly is very, very useful. Um, modeling reference is another good one. So you know, being able to use a, a, a reference sheet like this, then we can go into 3D modeling. And I've even been using it for VR avatars. So full-on, full-body avatars coming up with those concepts, changing their hairstyle, and then going with one that feels right, and then taking it down the pipeline. So yeah, sorry, there's so many more. We've got HDRI maps. This is a type of image that projects light around your 3D models so that you get realistic lighting. You can make them with the outpainting feature in Dolly. So I use it and then wrap this around my worlds, and then it feels like I built a whole space, even though it was just an image. And of course, AR installations. Make an image in Dali, and then put it into an AR canvas that like, lives in the room. My whole point here is that whole creative studio departments are now essentially text prompts. 
And this could be scary and fun at the same time. We're in this very new future. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thank <laughs> you.